Fuck with me again. I've had it with these monsters. I hope all your kind die. Well, look who's come over all chatty. This is what I need. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? I'm just taking a look around. <laughs> just messing. Have to make my own entertainment. Gets a bit boring round here. Apart from the rotworms eating people. I'd stay on the walkway and not go too far out into the swamp. Believe me, being eaten by those creatures is not the way a man should go. Hang on, I think I've got a map somewhere you can have. Where can I get a better weapon? Depends on what you're after. Some swear by a good blade. Others prefer the heft of an axe. I'm a hunter, so I favor a bow and arrow. I've got a couple of nice specimens here, actually. For the right price, I'm sure I could part with one or two. What do you hunt in the swamp? Less and less. There are only a few beasties. They may look unappetizing, but you'd be surprised what our cook can do. About the only thing left big enough to feed us all is this large worm over to the west. But he's a big fella. I really need help to take him down. Probably a bit of help to keep him down after I've eaten him too. How about I help you hunt this worm? Oh, that's good of you. Tell you what, if we kill that thing together, I'll give you 30 gold. I hope you're well prepared. <laughs> Don't want your death on my conscience. I'm new around here. Got swept in with the tide. What can you tell me about this place? Ah, I see. Well, then there are a few things you should know. This whole swamp area, from here to the temple in the north, it's run by Don Esteban, our leader. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. He's got some fighters working for him that'd break your jaw as happy as look at you. Stay away. You ain't putting me in that monastery. What can you tell me about the temple? came up from the ground about the time these storms started. And all these beasts came out of it. Never seen the like before. Indescribable they are. Our fighters soon sorted them out. I doubt there's much still alive in there. Well, apart from the Don. He's moved into the temple now. Don't see him very often. No one really knows what he's doing in there. Me, I say hunt, kill and don't ask too many questions. Come on, let's go kill this rock worm. That's the spirit? Right, ready your weapon and stay close to me.
Get in there! See, that's what being a hunter is all about. The thrill of the hunt, the buzz of the kill. Oh, that's made my week, that has. I've killed that worm. You don't need to worry about it. One less worm is no bad thing. Here, have 30 gold for your trouble. Let's trade. Ask someone else. Best you go before someone makes you disappear. Hey. Hey. Any trouble today? No. Expecting any? No. Must be fun being a guard. Hmm. Not really. What exactly do you guard in a swamp? Flies. The smell. The dawn. The dawn. Back there in that temple. But my post is here. In the swamp. Sounds like an important job. What is there round here that people need guarding from? You must have seen them. Seen what? Those things. Things? The things from the ruins. There are ruins everywhere. The ones that came up from the ground. The ground is warped or something. You ever have any problems with the locals? Locals? They give you any trouble, you just smack them around. Or you could try talking to them. Who's in charge here? The Don. Who? The Don. Right. You don't talk much. What do I want to talk for? I don't know you. Where is the Don? In the temple. Is he religious? Ha! So what does he do in there? Avoids being out here. What do you want? Come back later. Hey, did I look like I wanted to talk to you? I lost Garth. Well, that's a screw up. So what can I do now? Right, think. We haven't lost yet. Garth will still meet with his partner. You have to find him. Where should I look? Probably somewhere in the gutters. In a house, in a hideout. Look for him in the gutters. Hey, you don't look like the rest of the Don's men. Me? I'm the one the rest of them treats like dirt. Day in, day out, me and my workers try our best. And they need us, the bosses. But do they realize that? I wish they'd come and see what it's like. See if they like being eaten by swamp worms. I bet they treat you badly as well, right? Up there, in the monastery, 
Well, at least there aren't any swamp worms. <sighs> I should have been a fisherman. Just me in the sea. A fair fight. Hey. Lost, are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. I'm not lost. I'm just having a look around. You're from the monastery. That means you're not welcome here. I see. Well, look who's come over all chatty. <laughs> I don't like faces I don't know well. And your face is too pretty. Slap some makeup on you and you could work the brothels. You've been to Madame Sonia's this month. I hear there are some real sweetmeats to taste down there. Refugees with no money. Fresh fish. Nobody knows. Nobody says that everyone has an opinion. He's the one they say. Then they say a lot of things. Are you the local blacksmith? Blacksmith? I look like I spend my days making fucking old shoes. I'm a pewterer, a gilder, a worker of fine metal. I'm looking for new weapons. Looking is for losers. Paying gets you the goods. Can I learn metalworking from you? Eh, a man from the monastery wants to be a smith. Who would have thought it? All right, if you want to. It'll cost you. Have you got any sword blanks? You're just what I got here. My stock of ore is empty. You bring me some iron ore, I can make you some blanks. What have you got to trade? Take this gold. You're buying the knowledge, all right? Doesn't mean you have the skill. You're the smith. I want to learn metalworking from you. Teach me how to pick locks. Many locks have a bolt that you have to push down in order to be able to open the lock. Then you can poke in all directions with your lockpick until the lock is open. But be careful. If you push in the wrong direction, the lockpick may break. Can you show me how to pick difficult blocks? The principle is the same. Push down the bolt and then try to crack the lock with the lockpick. Of course, these locks are a lot more complicated. Locks like that are expensive, so they often guard valuable things.
That's finished that. What do you want here? Better put this away. Waif and stray looking for pity? Or fortune hunter looking for gold? Looks like I've got another mouth to feed. Shouldn't you be off with your inquisition, friends? I need to talk to the Don. You and your Inquisitor have done enough damage to this island. And now you march in here demanding to speak to my husband. Well, you'd better have some good news from the Inquisitor or I won't let you in. The Inquisitor wishes me to speak to the Don. And only the Don. Hmm. All right. Go to the guard at the temple entrance and tell him to let you in. Thank you. But... Any trouble, and you won't have only the fighters to deal with. You'll have me. I don't want anything to do with you lot. Whatever you want, I ain't talking. Your mother, Tilda, is worried about you. Oh, she's always worried. That woman makes my life a misery. Okay, okay. Clearly, she's got nothing to be worried about. Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Guarding. Guess that's a really important job. Most important in the camp. I make sure people don't just stroll in to see the Don. He's very against strolling in. And I'm not pissing Rachel off or I won't get any grub. So, move along. The Inquisitor sent me to talk to Don Esteban. The Inquisitor? How was I to know? Go right in. Hey, hey, come here. I need to talk to you. And who are you? Never mind who I am. My boss is interested in you and what you can do. Wants me to make you an offer. Who is your boss? A powerful man. More powerful than the Don. This isn't a pissing contest. I've told you what you need to know. Who let you in here? That doesn't matter. What matters is... I can get to you anywhere you are. My boss can reach you wherever you go. How can I refuse an offer I can't refuse? <laughs> we need a smart operator. And my boss thinks that's what you are. You're one of Captain Romanoff's men. Smart bastard, aren't you? That's why you're the man for this job. What does your boss want from me? Help. That's all. You can find something that a certain person needs. And give them information they need to make a decision. Who am I supposed to help? A woman. She has a small tavern down on the harbour quay in the town. Patty, yeah, I know. Pretty clued up, aren't you? Have you heard of any discs? Crystal discs? I've heard of many things. Perhaps I've heard of these discs. Help us, and I'll tell you more. What has Patty got to do with this? Don't worry. She's not going to get hurt. Just visit her, and do what she asks of you. That's all? Yeah. Just do what she asks. This isn't some strange way of her asking me out, is it? Stop asking questions and do it. You'll find it easier on yourself. And you'll get paid too. How could you refuse that? No. Tell your boss I'm not getting involved in this. A regrettable decision. 
You've made a mistake, and you'll be hearing from us. I can't wait. No, isn't a word people say to us. You shouldn't have done that. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Well, I was Is it your habit to walk into places unannounced? Who are you? I know who you are. The Don. Somehow I'd expected more. Time may be conspiring against me, but don't doubt that I deserve my reputation. I am still the man you have heard of. Then why do you cower in here? Letting others take your island from you. Cower? A bear that sits in his cave isn't cowering. He's biding his time. But you, you have walked into this cave with no knowledge of what may happen. Boldness is a quality. But rashness will get you killed. I am an apprentice. I travel on business for the Inquisitor. Then you are a lapdog and a fool. Go back to your Inquisitor. I come from the Inquisitor. He would like to suggest a deal with you. Then let me hear what that fine gentleman has to offer. He's looking for a set of crystal discs. And what does that have to do with me? He wants you to get them. Hmm. What does he offer in return for these discs? The gold from the ruins. The ones you currently occupy, in any case. Take that, and he won't trouble you. That is indeed an offer. Agreed, then. Discs for the ruins. Uh, tell me, what is the Inquisitor planning to do with these discs? That is none of your concern. You came to me for help, and now you give me nothing. But then, if I don't give these discs to him, he will take them. Or try to and put my men in danger. You leave me no choice, do you? I must take the gold. Do you know where these crystal discs are? I have one object that matches that description. You can take your discs. Go and take them to your Inquisitor. My actions show trust and honor. I hope your actions will do the same. Just one. The Inquisitor needs several. And if he's right, and we need to get in there to save the island. Well, we have a new excavation in a temple to the east, not far from your monastery. My man Fincher is overseeing work there. It's a large ruin, hasn't been excavated by your men yet. Maybe, maybe one of these discs is there. Talk to Fincher. He will show you where the temple is. What makes you think a disc is in the temple to the east? What well, can you think of anywhere else? Searching a large temple has to make more sense than poking around in the woods. So, the Don's giving you a chance. Yes. Lucky you. Lucky me. I know what it looks like, him skulking in that temple. Let me give you some advice. Don't underestimate him. He's just waiting for the right time. This island is the Don's, and he's going to take it back. What do you do for the Don? I take care of things for him. Keep an eye on people. Want to find out so you can tell your friends up at the monastery? Well, tell them this. I am keeping an eye on them. They don't cause trouble. You don't cause trouble. You won't get any trouble. Is there a faster way to reach this place? We've uncovered some sort of maidstone at the temple. They say it has the power to move people from place to place in an instant. You might find it useful in the work you're doing for the Don. How are things going here? I'm worried about the temple over to the east. I sent a group of men to the entrance. Our treasure seekers were able to open it. But something's not right. They should have been back here long ago, and I've heard nothing. I'll see what's happening at the eastern temple. Good. I put Danilo in charge of things over there. Find him, and tell him I'll feed him to the rot worms if he doesn't get a move on. I'll show you where the entrance is on your map. Good luck.
What is that guy doing at the entrance? You mean Bauchura? He's one of Captain Romanov's men. The old pirate often sends us people. The Don does business with him. Usually some minor racket, nothing important. At least, not for me. I see. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about... What Boom banger bang. The worst failures in alchemy. What can I do for you? You have come to be healed? Or perhaps just to pass the time in conversation? What can you offer for healing? Ah, I have potions to ease your wounds. I'm well versed in the art of alchemy and prepare all potions myself. You're a mage and you serve the dog. Someone has to take care of the boys here. It falls to me to do so. It's an honor, and it allows me to do what I need to. The boys here are a little exuberant, but we have an arrangement. I heal them, and they leave me to carry out my studies in peace. You study? Certainly. There is much to discover here. Like, for example, the magic barrier in the lower vaults. You are a man of magic. Magic phenomena will seek you, whether you want them to or not. What magic barrier? They were clever, the builders of this place. They did not rely on just iron and stone to keep people out. They knew the power of magic, too. If you ever venture deeper into the temple, you'll find that out. This isn't the only place on the island they protected with magic. Do you have things to sell? you teach me something about alchemy? That depends. Are you ready to learn? Is your mind open to the knowledge? Am I ready to teach you? Yes, I think I am. But there are dangers. This is not a discipline to be taken lightly. I shall guide you, but you must beware. Bear in mind that we are not in the protected halls of the monastery. I do not wield the power to save your life if things turn sour. Surely not much can go wrong with mixing potions. Normally, no. But the ingredients we use here are strange. We are far from the mainland and the materials we are finding in these temples have unknown properties. My last experiment was almost literally my last, if you understand. So be warned. Tell me more about your studies. I am fascinated by those that built this temple, unraveling their ancient dangerous secrets. This stone, for example. Obsidian, these ancients called it. Hugely resilient. It served them as a raw material for their weapons and armor. Weapons made of this would be very damaging. So, if someone could find any weapons they had left behind, Town will be safe for a while, they say. They say. I can turn to the man. Could it be dangerous to us? The price is ridiculous. That's done. Thieves. How are we going to eat? All the farmers are in the town, no hunters are going out. It's all crazy. I got fed up with waiting for him. He's probably been eaten. Gold and water. The secret treasures of the desert. I've never seen anything like it. Things will never change.
one of the fighters here. I am out here. But when we were in the town, well, sleight of hands more my thing. Combat's for boneheads. I have a few real skills. Sneaking, opening locks, picking pockets. Proper honest skills. No violence needed. Sounds good. New here, right? It's that easy to tell. Ah. Uh, Don's boys already got on your nerves, eh? They're just bored. No imagination, you see. What do you do here? I tend the Brugelweed here on Robar's farm. It's not the most noble of plants, but it's versatile. You can brew beer with it. You can, should you be of a mind, smoke it as well. The smoke has special properties, if you know what I mean. What do you know about the Don? I know enough not to mess with him. We used to be out here all alone, until they swept in and took the place over. But stick to his rules and he's a good man, if a hard taskmaster. Working in the fields isn't easy, but it gets you away from people. Space to think. Who is Roba? He's a salt-of-the-earth fellow. He farms this swamp. Well, this field. Can you sell me some weed? Or beer? Surely can. And I have more to sell as well, if you're interested. What do you have to sell?
worked. Is this your land? It's me that founds it. Then I use the Bruegel weed that grows here to make beer. What can you tell me about the area around here? You haven't been here long, have you? Let's see. Well, the boys in the camp all work for Don Esteban. They're collecting everything they can find made of gold. The Don must have a fortune in that temple by now. Do you work for the Don? Me? <laughs> I've been on this farm all my life. One day, these ruins rise up out of the ground all over the place. Then Don Esteban comes here. At least he keeps these creatures from the temple away. Where did the gold the Don's collecting come from? From those temple ruins, the ones that rose from the ground. They say there are treasures there, and creatures. Could you teach me to make beer? I suppose, if you have a basic knowledge of alchemy. But it would take you years to learn properly. What's Bruegel weed? They call it a weed, but it's not. Mostly grows in the swamp or along rivers. But you can find it most anywhere. Looks useless, but you can't get hops out here. Well, not cheap, you can't. And this stuff will do the trick. Maybe I could help you gather some Bruegel weed. Well, it would save me some time. All right. But I need deliveries of ten plants. I'll give you seventy gold coins for every ten you bring. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I can always use more plants. There are plenty of people who like beer. If you find more, you know the price. Yes? Thanks again for helping me. You helped me. I owed you that. You've met some outlaws then. Jan came for me. Thank you for sending him. Well, I hope you find somewhere safe to stay. I guess I'll have to try to make some kind of life here myself. We all have to make the best of things. I'm fine. And take care of yourself. I hope things work out for you.
Well done. 